What's up guys? Back with another video. It's Touch Tone the Sound God, best producer in the history of production. You know it's true. Uh, but seriously, in this video, I'm gonna be going over a preview uh, slash review of a plugin that has yet to release uh, by a company called The Nathan. The Nathan, the company was gracious enough to send me out a preview uh, beforehand, so thank you. The plugin is called Tape Piano 2. I've played with it a little bit. I wanted to go more into like a first reaction type of thing because you guys know with my audience, I like to keep it raw. I like to keep it real. I don't want it to be biased in any sort of way. Um, but the little that I did kind of play with is pretty cool. And I think you guys might like it, but the further we go into it, we'll see. So to save on time for the video, because I didn't want this running too long, I do also already have like a pre-made beat that I made that I think you guys might like, uh, that I think it fits in well with, especially with the genre. So with this plugin, it is targeting lo-fi. And on its website, I'm not even kidding, it says it's the best lo-fi plugin like ever created. Um, we're gonna put that to the test, man. It might be, it might be, uh, it might not be, but you guys can expect I'm gonna keep it real. Uh, that's just what I do. So let's get into it. Uh, one quick thing before we do, um, I should probably lead that this plugin is not out yet. And when it does come out, it's gonna be 12 bucks. I think the regular price is gonna be about $50. I'm gonna double check that on the website. And I'll probably put a graphic here uh, just so you can see it. But from my understanding, it's gonna be $12, which kind of for what you're getting, I think is a steal. But without further ado, let's go. Uh, first thing I do wanna to touch on that uh, the the owner of the Nathan reached out to me is if you go here to settings and then for Mac users, if you go here to use Open G, OpenGL, you wanna click no. And what that's gonna do, that's really gonna help on CPU power and it won't be so heavy. So that's kind of cool, that's kind of a plus. So I appreciate you guys reaching out and saying that. But um, like I said, I already got some stuff pulled up here. Let's hear it in action. So the track is a lo-fi track. It's your pure imagination from the Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory. I just put my spin on it, some hip hop stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I hope you guys like it. So this is what it sounds like. This is the default tape here. So that sound is pretty basic in my opinion, but is definitely usable because it's like mangled. You know what I mean? Uh, by the way, I did play that MIDI and bro, I'm not a piano player. Yo, that was tough. It took some hours, yo, just to get the, the, the that you, um, you had, you, 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 see, I can't even talk. It took hours just to get the piano down. Like for real. So I'm super proud of myself, even if you're not. Yay. To me, that's that's the basic sound here. Um, and it's got it's got a it's got a sound pool here uh to where you can go and and do your stuff. So check this out. So if we go to the top left hand here and just kind of hit this guy right here and go to the tape X, um, as you see, uh there's different sounds. So let's just kind of hear some of the presets, see what they sound like. That's dope. <laughs> That's kind of dope. Oh, I love that. Oh, that sounds so good.
So, I mean, I, I, I wanted to keep this video short. I don't really want to go through all the pianos, but for the most part, pretty much 90% of them are usable and we haven't even began to like mangle them and, and mess with the presets and, and whatnot. And I'm a preset type of guy. I usually don't do a lot of tweaking of the sound. I might do some, uh, but the sound strikes me, I use it, I like it, I tweak it, there it is. You know, I don't get too deep with it. And that's what I kind of like about this because you can. So let's just, you choose Chill Piano, right? And then click back out of the name, boom. And let's see what kind of parameters we got. So we got texture, we got the, the pin, I guess, the PN Chill Piano. Uh, and let's just see what it does. Let's just see what this does. Got different textures to choose from here. Oh, that's dope. Dude, that's pretty freaking cool, man. I'm not even gonna front. That's tight. I wonder how you can control this if you can like use this to turn it on, turn it off, if there's like a mixture button here. Like I said, this is gonna be like a reveal uh, between just a first reaction with, with you and me. We're kind of experiencing this thing together and that's the way I like to keep it. So this is dope. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So I did figure something out. So I did figure something out. If you tap this guy right here, it kind of turns it off. Can't hear it. I guess it just turns that effect off. But as soon as you turn it back on. And it changed the piano. So we're gonna go back to chill piano because I really like that one. Yeah, man, this thing is kind of tight. Like already, you know what I mean? Um, let's see what other, let's see what other sounds they got. Chords. Wire and pads. Yo, so right off top, just my thoughts. This thing is funky, yo. Like it's tight. I, and I think for twelve dollars, you so far, it's more than twelve dollars. Uh, once again, you've heard of my reviews, previews before. There have been plugins that I've paid hundreds of dollars for that just don't even live up to ten bucks. This surpasses twelve bucks already, uh, which I like. But I mean, you got your typical stuff here on the GPU. You, I'm taking it as your undo, your redo, which that is correct. Oh yeah, man, this thing is deep. Like it's incredibly deep. Uh, one of those things that are like at the surface level would be just enough for most people. But if you are a tweaker and you, and you wanted to get deeper with it, God, it just keeps happening. But if you wanted to take it to the next level and really tweak what you're doing, you could do that. And man, this is, this is pretty dope. Uh, let's see what else they got. Ooh. Yeah, these effects are like just your regular ADSR here, um, which is, which is cool. You got, looks like you got two envelopes to mess with. Sorry. Looks like you got like two envelopes to mess with here. And then you got your stepper. So the arpeggiator um, that you could uh, mess with and, and, Side note, guys, I got a new monitor that I'm using. It's a widescreen. So I'm going to try to make this as present and as visual uh, and visible as it can be. If it's not up to par, my apologies. I'll get it fixed in the next video. But yeah, man, this is this thing is a beast so far. Uh, let's see what these, these the effects are here. I mean, like I said, I don't really want to go crazy into it. I might do a more lengthy review on another video. Ooh, I got it. I'm going to be going live with this um, in my next live stream. This video should be out by then, will be out. 
and we can go into it and if you guys like have any questions just ask me in the live and we could uh make that happen and go through it together i think that'd be dope but yeah let's check out some more presets because let's just do it because why not Oh, that's cool. Uh. Um, yo, I like that one. Deep blue? Deep blue, right there. That's dope. So yeah, as you guys can see, man, this thing is super versatile. Yeah, man, this is this is really, really good. Uh, for 12 bucks, I would say it's worth it. I could definitely, definitely see myself using this uh, more than I'm not, to be quite honest. And a side note, I don't think this should just be used for lo-fi. I think this could be used for a lot. I don't know if it's the best lo-fi plugin out, but it's damn near up there. It's in the top five top three for me at least uh when it comes to actual instruments and just not sampling and stuff and the onboard effects to where you can really mangle and dirty up your sounds it's like a one-stop shop for everything that's pretty freaking cool man i'm a fan right now and it's not just because they sent it to me because y'all know that's not how i get down i spent a lot of my own money on these products actually this is one of the first products that was sent to me um, out of the kindness of the owner's heart, you know, I, I told him I'm going to keep it real and he wouldn't have it any other way. So uh, big ups to them for that. Not trying to control the narrative here. But yeah, for 12 bucks, it's a go. I think y'all know how I feel about this. I wouldn't wait. I would just go get it. It's, it's one of those plugins that can be impactful immediately. You can start to use it immediately and get some really, really cool results out of it. Yeah. So there you have it. So there that is, guys. Um, I like it. I like it a lot actually. After I'm done with this video, I'm gonna make a beat. And I might use it in this beat because that last preset was dope. So by the way, if you like the video, like, subscribe, share it. Um, that really helps the YouTube algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. That really helps my channel grow. Um, watch more videos on my channel, share those too. I really appreciate the support. I know I'm a smaller channel, but I try to give you guys quality information all the time. I try to give you value all the time because those, those are the channels that I really like watching uh, when I go to YouTube. And by the way, please continue to support my Spotify. I appreciate you guys 100% for that. I'm gonna put a graphic here somewhere, I don't know. My monitor went out, the battery went out, so I'm just kind of freestyling right now. Once again, keeping it real. But thank you for all your support. Once again, I appreciate all the support you guys continuously give me. Uh, that makes me feel great. It keeps pushing me, keeps making me want to make videos for you. So that's it, that's it, it's a go. It's gonna be a five out of five. But until the next video, guys, y'all take it easy. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.